Luke with Fueling Parts. I'd like to showcase our new quick install push rods. Start out with a 7 16 tube. We machine it down to 3 8 to create a slip fit on the rod itself, but we leave heavy duty 7 16 by 20 uh, threads. And what we're looking at creating here is the most rigid uh, quick install push rod available on the market. And what we want is the adjustment parameter to be as small as possible. All these work is we have the push rod base. To go ahead and install it, we're going to thread this all the way up the threads. We've got a slip joint in there. We already have the nut threaded up in there. You stick it up into the engine, you drop that down, and then you thread it into place. We'd like to showcase the install on the engine. We have separate length intake and exhaust push rods. One thing to remember is intake begins with an I. It's always towards the inside. I've got my push rod fully collapsed inside my push rod tube. Slide the push rod up into the push rod seat of the rocker arm. I'm going to drop the rod down, the push rod base down on top of the lifter. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to pull up on the push rod tube, which compresses the spring, which gives you a little bit more working room. So I'm going to compress the spring of the push rod tube. Okay, we've got our push rod base down on top of the lifter. We're close to zero lash. I want to get the jam nut into position, so now I'm going to thread that down. I'm going to get it close to finger tight down on the base. And now I'm ready to use my wrenches to make my adjustment. Okay, to make our adjustment, we've got the push rod itself right here. We've got some flats that are machined into the rod. I'm going to use a 3 8 wrench on the rod itself. I do have um, zero lash set up on the push rod. I have to use a thin wrench, available from Snap-on or Craftsman or what have you, on the push rod base. And I'm going to make the push rod 100 thousandths longer. So we have 7 16 20 threads, which equals to be 50 thousandths per full turn. Okay, we've got our two full turns, which equals 100 thousandths. We're now ready to get the jam nut into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 3 8 wrench to kind of hold the tube up out of the, out of the way. So I'm going to hold the rod in place, and I also want to hold the push rod base itself into place. One thing that I like to do is squeeze the jam nut uh, in one hand where I'm using the half inch wrenches and then I'm using my 3 8 wrench on my right hand right here holding it still from moving. And there you have it. Quick install push rod installed.